this. Shut up! Spot, 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 you guys are welcome to join anytime. I don't know what you're singing. I, I literally have no idea what you're singing. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. I kissed a girl and I liked it. The taste of her cherry chapstick. I kissed a girl just to try it. I hope my parents don't beat me. It felt so wrong, it felt so right. Don't mean my pussy is really tight. Yay. Welcome to the Bad Inputs Podcast. <laughs> uh I I'm joined by the, the, the singer of songs, it's in, in writers of, of writing. You're the writer and you're the songer. The songs of sing. You can put your damn mic here, you me. unprofessional you, son of a bitch. I said I was introducing. You're the songstress. He's the director's directress. Eloy. Yes. It's your name, oh, directress. Yeah. Yes. And songstress. Hello. Hello. My name. My name is songstress. <laughs> no, he, he Togi's the songstress. I'm the director. Uh, no, he's. The, We're not up. even drunk. And I'm the. <laughs> well, you want to get drunk? Okay. Well, we don't have well, too bad. You want to see a dead yeah, body? Drunk you were yeah, drunk. Yeah, you said night. you were. What were you up to last night, boyo? Um, uh, we played uh, a card game that I just learned. Yeah, I went to. Uh, oh, it's a webcam. Yeah. Oh, we're not streaming either, so that's where yeah. I even say that. Uh, yeah. Okay, Mike's far. Mike's Your pop filter is fine. Go to the, go to the old school way. Oh, okay, just put it up. Up. Put it up. Up. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Yeah, higher, <clears throat> closer. Oh, there you go. That's. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, I played game last night. <laughs> Drank game. alcohol and cards. What game do you play, man? Speed game. That's not video game name. Yes, game oh, speed. Game. Speed? Yeah. Oh, speed. like speed. goldfish and slapjack cans, man? Kind of, yeah. Oh, yes, yes. man. Oh, yeah. Egyptian oh, yeah. rods. That's a card game, man. Yeah. <laughs> Egyptian mats? Egyptian, Egyptian, rat. Egyptian oh. cats. If it's in flash, Egyptian sucks. What do you get? Speed game you just speed. have to go. You know, it's like six, five, four, three, two, one. And you slap the person to the left of you. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much you slap. Ah, you got me. Yeah. I forgot how speed works. How does it work, you law? You just like slap down the cards um, as fast as you can to match the cards, which is basically higher or lower. And you, I'm not explaining this at all Mm-mm. well Mm-mm. enough. Yeah. Now in a little bit. Okay, so basically you have you a full deck of cards, mm-hmm. and you split the cards mm-hmm. in half. The the deck in half. Okay. I would never de- but go de- ahead. De- continue. Deck and in half. What? Um, okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, and then I said, "What?" Okay. It's a docking. So you split the. T- oh fuck. Okay, so you split this deck <laughs> in half. Okay, hold on. Why are you people. saying deck like this? The deck. <laughs> you're saying. You're saying. How do you how do you say card deck? Deck. Deck. <laughs> <laughs> How do you say Dak? Dak. Dak. No, it's Dak. <laughs> you just give the. You know, a dealer deals his card Dak. Just like that. This is how you do it. Where am I? What is happening? What is happening? You go to the store, you find the alcohol and ping pong balls, and you get a card of Dak. <laughs> You sound yeah. like you're building a, 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 a floor deck. Oh. Why are you saying deck yeah. like this? Yeah. It's not like a ship's dick. Like no. a card of deck. No, because that's gross. <laughs> I would never suck a ship's dick. A deck. I would suck its poop deck, but I would never suck its dick. There's a starboard and backboard and... The mass. A deck. <laughs> can, you name, can you name all the parts of the ship? Yeah. Uh-huh. You got a mass. Yeah. You got a... 
deck. Yeah? You got a starboard. Yeah? You got your rope pulleys. Yeah? And you have your your rotary. Yeah? <laughs> you forgot the cannons, dude. No. Bro. A rotary. You forgot the cannons. I said the rotary. How are they going to defend themselves against uh, Assassin's Creed 4, Black Flag? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Well, in the old terms of, don't if you don't if you're not if you're not ready to fucking just come up with shit off the top of your cock, (laughs) then just don't. I had it. (laughs) I had it ready. Go, go ahead. I already know how this is gonna go. In the olden terms, they would usually say um, a wooden ship is just a ship unless it's blown up. Yeah. So the late game was perfect, but a bad game was bad forever. No. Yeah. Sometimes it's not about the game. It's just about the ship. It's about the player. You know? Yeah. So what are we... Uh, welcome to the, I'm the, not gonna lie. the no Seaman fu- Podcast. Yeah, I have no idea what the fuck we're talking about. Welcome to your... What's the, what's the word for ship people that do ship stuff? If their interest is like boating and stuff. This is an honest question. They're a catamaran man. Catamaran man. Equestrians. <laughs> equestrians. Yeah, they're equestrians. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta to brush the, your boat every day. Welcome to the Equestrian Podcast starring uh, <laughs> Cla- Cla- Calamity Clam Colin. Ah, oh, and you? Uh, I have boats. Barnacle Eloy. Hey. And I'm your captain. It's not a question. Captain Fapton Toki. <laughs> not equestrian. <laughs> Equestrian is horses. <laughs> Why? I don't know. That's nonsense. I didn't make up the goddamn word. That's stupid. I'm no dictionary maker, this, maker man. How does horse mean a quest? I don't fucking know. Ask it's, Drake. He made it up. That's like half like but, question. He talked about that one line. He was like, her ass is equestrian. And then so I shot it. And then if I put it down. Yeah, good luck yeah. with that shit. I swear there was a line he did. No, I know that's a line. But like to be an equestrian, you're just like, I mean, I don't want to get gross. But what the hell is the PlayStation VR box still doing here? I don't know. You, I, I thought you took it. I was surprised. Wait, wait, wait. So I asked, I asked I, Toki because I was going to be gone. still in there? No, no, no I said to no, back. No, no. Okay. I said, oh. It's been weeks. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. I remember coming back and I was like, oh, okay, cool. He like took all the stuff or whatever. And then I saw the box. I was like, oh, well, whatever. You know, I, mean, I bet Sony just got it and they're just like, the fuck, man? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Without a doubt. Probably. PlayStation received that shit all fucked up. Yeah. I tried. I tried to put it back together. But no, man. Sorry. For those listening. Sorry. Yeah, I saw you. I saw your attempt. And thank you for uh, the extra HDMI cord. Yeah. Sony. <laughs> yeah, I saw that too. <laughs> <laughs> for those who don't That's even know one. what we're talking about. <laughs> Uh, you, you, Colin, you rented out the VR, the PlayStation VR or something. They, they offered it And they it to brought me. it, and yeah. it was for like, what, 14 days yeah, or something like that. Yeah. And then uh, we were supposed to send it back after A that. A fortnight! Same time, and we just saw <laughs> the box. Yeah, I forgot why I couldn't send it back. Like, I, I want to say I was gone doing something, but bring I can't it, fucking it remember. Back. You're at work. Bring it, bring, it, bring it back. Oh, that's right. You're at GameStop. It feels like it's been forever since I've had work. It almost forgot like I even worked there. I was like, you know what? I can do the D's and the damn dooms. I'll send it back. Yeah, One hour later, uh, clumsily put it together <laughs> and uh, I just dropped like, it off at UPS. Too. I was like, huh? Uh, here you go. <laughs> <laughs> Take, Take it. Take it. <laughs> it's for Jilly. Did you guys hear about the superhero child? No. You didn't hear the thirteen year old. You mean uh what's his fucking name? What's Superman's kid's name? What's his actual name? Crypto? Kal El. That's it. Kal El. Oh. Jor El and Kal El. Kal El. Kal El. Yeah, Nick, Nicholas Cage named his kid that. Okay, well. Right, anyway. Can you? <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna get beat up for two reasons. That name and being Nick Cage's son. Anyway, uh, that, that's annoying like, to say. Kal El Kal El. Kal El. Just call him Kale. Kal El Cage. Kale Cage. Oh my god, Kal-El you're right. Cage. Yeah, Kal Cage. Alliteration. What a Kal-El fucking Cage. asshole. Oh, well, uh, you want to like my movie, my... so I'll make you like my son's name. That's my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> a 30 year old, so they go somewhere. I forgot where, but the bus driver had like a medical emergency. So his foot was stuck on the gas pedal <gasps> of a, a school bus full of kids. And so a 30 year old kid, I forgot his name, it was like Tyler or something like that, pretty much had to climb onto the bus driver's lap and take control. Of the school bus, turned on the emergency uh, lights, the hazard lights. How old is this kid again? Thirteen, and hit the brakes on it. Another kid named Kyler, yes, that's his real name. Kyler had like was like working the everyone else on the bus, making sure they stayed calm. I'm gonna name my kid Tile. 
And he was able to like swerve it enough and eventually slow down the bus. And he didn't stay on the guy's lap. He had to push him off the driver's seat then take full control of the bus. Holy shit. And what? the only reason he can do this is because his mom let him drive like in the backwoods or wherever they live. And his grandpa let him drive an 18-wheeler. What are the odds? <laughs> so that's the only reason this kid knew how to drive a bus what and to save everyone from odds? dying. I'm surprised no one on the bus was just like, oh, you shouldn't do that. You right? We're going to die faster because of you. Oh, yeah. Kids got balls. Damn, Both dude. Both these kids that taking was... a, like, a, the reins of the situation and handling everything. Well, that, that's just like, what are the odds? That's yeah. Just, like, like, what are the odds that the one kid on this bus, like this bus, like who's going to whatever school... Happened to just be driving since probably he was like nine. Mm-hmm. That's some that's crazy, crazy. That's ridiculous. Dude. He had to go full Tom Cruise. I'm like, okay, um, all right, <laughs> we're going fast. I have to slow this thing down oh somehow. My God. <laughs> wow. dude, that kid's gonna be a NASCAR someday. Gotta be. He's Perfect got. He's storm. dude. He drove. Well, a he drove in the backwoods. So that's. I mean, he's already got. The, he's already got the uh, the redneck part of him. B, he's driven all types of, driven a normal car, 18 wheeler, and a bus. Mm-hmm. He's gonna be, he's, <laughs> right? he's probably, <laughs> actually, he was the dude who was driving Elon Musk's car in space. Yeah. Seriously, That's nuts to me. I, what was I doing at 13? Uh, I, I was, I was, I was hyped. I got my first cell phone. Yeah. And Same. it was a really small Nokia phone that had snake on it. I learned what masturbation was. There you go. Yeah, Off your note. And now, imagine if you learned. Imagine if you're 13 now, you would have gotten your phone, which can look up porn for masturbation. Yep. No, no, no. Didn't work like that While back then, kids. Yeah. Didn't work While like that back then. We don't go to YouTube. We're after busting a nut on our phones back then. No, I would go to YouTube to bust a nut because they have the most porn. There. We, we didn't have it <laughs> uh, uh, when we were 13. What did we have? The most advanced thing we had at 13. Uh, let's see. What was it? 2003. 2004? No, yeah, 2005. Yeah. Two, it was the fucking Trapped in the Closet trilogy. Because <laughs> that, huh. I was playing on the radio. Wait, it wasn't on iTunes. Like it's a bad thing. It's an amazing thing. <laughs> 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 I think in... I in Okay. Oh, God, we're aging ourselves again. Hey, Eloy, how would you describe... What's my an, age again? How would you describe an iPod? <laughs> an iPod is a device that you listen to music on. <laughs> yeah, but how would you navigate on it? You use your thumb to turn around the... Ro- the the rotary thingy. It's a wheel. <laughs> the wheel thingy. Yeah, it wasn't touch. It's it like was a, a touchpad. It was a wheel, right? Yeah, it was a wheel. It was a wheel. Yeah. It had the fast forward and pause on it, but to go up and down. No color on it either. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it was like. Yeah. The black. <laughs> yeah. It was so advanced to me. It did. Because <laughs> you just put your finger on a circle of the wheel. It's moving up and down. So you look into. So you listen to shake that ass. Watch yourself. Yep. <laughs> I remember just like playing with the wheel. Just yeah. That's fun. I, thought it was so I think cool. Brick Breaker was on some Yeah, iPods. there was Brick Breaker. There was yeah. Snake on there too. Mm-hmm. And yeah, they actually had awesome games on there. But weirdly enough, now look where the hell we are. Yeah, now it's like a, it's all fucking color and touchy screen, and like you, you play Grand Theft Auto Four on your goddamn phone. <laughs> God damn, kids I, got I, lucky. I will say that first commercial for the iPod, I mean iPhone, was amazing, genius. Even it was like a guy. Some commercials, a girl, and they'd be like, "Yeah, it's got everything I need." You know, in my pockets, I have my MP3 player and uh, my phone and uh, blah 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 blah. But now it's all in one. I was like, "What the fuck are you talking about, <laughs> Asian man? Yeah. <laughs> what is this? What is this trickery?" Then I saw you call, and you had the iPhone. I was like, "What is mm-hmm. this?" He was walking on our high school campus and talking in his earbuds. Yep. And I was like, "What black magic yeah. sorcery is this <laughs> shit?" <laughs> this shit was awesome. That, and that was at the time where I was like, "Oh man, I can look up on the internet with the the high tech Edge Explorer." <laughs> Oh man, I'm not gonna lie. I fucking love that thing. <laughs> Just because it was, it was nice. It was nice to have all my music on there. But I did end up losing my. I had, I got a. I had one of those big old brick iPods. That I had like it was like 132 gigs or whatever. It was just so Jesus. Music. Shit, pure yeah. music. And I fucking music lost that thing. Days. I'm fucking. I'm still upset about it to this day. I can still have music on that thing. I would be too. You like, what did you have? Yeah, I had my. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I had my. Uh, what's it called? My Sansa. And, oh yeah. And Sansa. and and my CD player and and my Scandis and your Zune. Oh, oh yeah! You, you had forgot a about the no, Zoom. No, I never had a Zoom. You, sure? you had a Zoom, dude. I didn't have a Zoom. I wanted a Zoom. Maybe, yeah, maybe you wanted. One a of Zoom. my friend had a Zoom. You're the only yeah, reason I, I knew the word Zoom. Yeah, 
I yeah. just thought they were like the next best thing behind. You look, you had a zoom like so close. You had a black zoom. Yeah, no, it was Sanza. It was called Sanza. It was, was it a Sanza? Sanza. It, was yeah. Sanza. it was a Sanza that looked like a zoom. I think. Yeah, yeah, but it's it's still, they're basically the same. Thing. Yeah, it did the same yeah. thing. This thing's still around at a better much. price. Most likely, nobody has zooms around. You ever been to the Zoom Marketplace? I'm gonna look at it. Yeah. It's the Zoom Marketplace. The Zoom just... Marketplace. Yeah. I don't what think that's there. Hell? It's real, baby. I, I don't know. I'm the, <laughs> baby? I'm the... Ju- <laughs> <laughs> Uncle, baby. I'm, I'm the Zoom dude, dude, bro. <laughs> you use your Zoom to listen to tunes. Well, that's Sansa Stark. God damn it. Not Game of Thrones ass, motherfucker. Oh, sons, uh, oh. You, It's S A N S A, right? Yeah. That was her name. I couldn't it's remember called, yesterday. It's called Scandis Sansa. That's like the brand. Oh, sc- oh it's a Scandis. Okay. It's called, it's called. Scandisk. Oh. So, uh, Sansa, there we go. Speaking of, uh, we're gonna go, we're gonna talk about women's. Ooh, and the lady shit. parts and badgerners. Ladies and, uh, wow, man. Getting into that dussy. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> well, you never had dussy? Yeah, this, this definitely be a podcast where women want to sleep with us after. <laughs> what? That sweet, sweet, hairy dussy? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that geez. girthy, hairy dussy? Please stop, oh. Harvey Weinstein. I don't want to hear this shit anyway. Oh, I love that oh. dussy. A dick pussy? Uh, Uma Terman, I want your dussy. <laughs> oh. oh, she's always uh, pissed off. Oh, these are really small. She's real pissed off. Hmm? Yeah, she is. What happened? She's mad. What were you Uma reading? Thurman? Yeah, yeah. You, I read she's article. mad. She's pissed. Yeah, she's pretty pissed. Harvey Weinstein and, and, then, like, and then Quentin Tarantino didn't help. And then I was reading some of the comments of because I read an article about that whole thing, and Uma's like, "I want to tell my side of the story." And then like the come of the comments like, "Damn, she's being a bitch." <laughs> Why is she whining? Why is she whining about it? What the fuck? And, like it was so much That's shit. So like sexy. I just had to laugh because like a small part of me I was like. Why is she just whining about it? Like, dude, I mean, well, no, no. Well, okay, the Harvey, Harvey. No, I'm not talking about the Harvey Weinstein. Weinstein oh, you're part. talking about the the Quentin choking Tarantino, scene or whatever, the right? Quentin Tarantino part. Yeah, 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 yeah. That whole stuff. Um, so I guess like three basic things happen. Uh, for if you don't know, one thing is she was driving a car. She was in Kill Bill. There's yeah. a scene where she's driving a car, and basically, basically, she didn't want to drive the car because she didn't have, she wasn't confident in her driving ability. So um, while she was driving the car, she basically spun out and hit a tree, like hurt her neck and like all that stuff. Oh like, shit! Uma Uma. Yeah, Quentin Tarantino was like, "Do it," and she was like, "No, I can't do it," and she fucked up. You want to do it? I can't do a Quentin Tarantino voice. <laughs> yeah, I know. Seriously. Um. Um. But yeah, okay. So she had that, and then um, the second thing that she had done was um, there was a choking scene in that movie as well, and um, one of the actors had spit on her. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the uh, uh, Mark Madsen or something had spit on her. Mark they, Madsen, the player. No, the, Mark the, Madsen. <laughs> <laughs> Miles the Mickelson, Lakers player, just the, comes up with two. The guy from uh, <laughs> the guy from uh, what's the HBO show, whatever his name is. Uh, oh, Mads Mickelson. Mad? No, 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 no. Some, from Madsen. Dexter. Oh, I still need to watch that show. I forget. Yeah, some white guy. It was the. It was there's <laughs> for I forget the name, but. Uh, he's one of the guys who was part of like the Deadly Viper gang or something like that. Mm-hmm. Kill Bill. So he spat. He spit on her, and Quentin Tarantino spit on her. <laughs> <laughs> then it just and, like, formed a line like, when they cut. Of, like you know where they slap the woman know, and like part of the scene <laughs> like, or off like frame. That. Yeah. yeah, good job, Uwa. He's like getting, <laughs> he's getting really into it because I guess that's the kind of director he is. He like really likes to get into it. Yeah, baby. Yeah, and then, and he's just fucking just. Yeah. Just, oh fuck. <laughs> He's just fingering his own mouth. Oh, wow. He's so gross. <laughs> He's like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. I guess he was just—he was really into it. Uh, and there's another scene, a separate scene, is that in, again in the movie, like she she was being choked out. It's not funny. In in the scene, I repeat, and, it's not funny. And like after, I guess like when they were cutting, like he was choking her, mm-hmm. like. I don't know to be. Yeah, I heard about, that, about yeah. that. Yeah, I heard so, about that. Um, part of me, I was like, "Oh, that's the actor's process or the director's process. Try to get them into it, mm. and you know, all choking that stuff. somebody. Like, no, well, like the process, like getting into it, getting into like the character type yeah. of thing. Type of, I understand I know, that. To get them to get into it, and then part of it was like, yeah, she's just. I don't know. She. It felt. It felt like she was like more complaining about she was like venting out her acting experiences instead of 
addressing like the real issue, which was she just had a sour relationship with Quentin Tarantino because they were lovers or something. Like, oh yeah, yeah. With that whole thing, so, that's like, gross. Yeah, they were like, this, so yeah, she, Quentin Tarantino, Quentin Tarantino's wife. She's a she's a pretty nice looking. He yeah, looks like she's a f- Israeli goddess. Yep, pretty much. But he looks like a wooden human figure. His fucking chin, his face. Oh, he looks like he looks, he looks like, like the Nutcracker. Looks yeah, like Frankenstein, but like the the after years when he's like hitting old age. That's what he looks like to me. He looks like yeah. a pinto bean. <laughs> what? <laughs> he's like, he's, he has a smushed together Just face. Smushed bacon bean man. He's a smushed face. I'm gonna, uh, I only make six movies in my life. I'll make fifteen instead. I'm Quentin Tarantino. I'm a big Quentin Tarantino fan, but that shit was, I mean, yeah, it was, it wasn't right. Cause he confronted Harvey Weinstein about the whole raping Irma oh, Uma damn, Thurman. She got a concussion and damaged knees. And yeah. She White Knight. She could have been decapitated in that sequence. Yeah. I saw, I watched the video. It's fucking crazy. She literally loses control of the fucking vehicle. It's fucking horrifying. It's like, why you got stunt yeah. people for that. Yeah, exactly. She was like, bring, like, I need a stunt person. Quentin Tarantino like, no. And. Yeah, that's how the whole thing happened. Jesus Christ, man. No, hey, hey, fuck off, you Hollywood reporter. Pieces of shit. Back then. We yeah, were veteran there. stunt performers are apparently extremely pissed. So she didn't feel comfortable operating a car, which she described as a death box. That's what I called her, Virginia. <laughs> that is a car. That is a car. <laughs> uh, stunt coordinator, blah, 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 blah. Never prevent Thurman for driving the car, but he wasn't on set. The stunt coordinator was told to stay in his hotel to stay home. How much did she make off Kill Bill? Can you check that? Probably a lot. Oh, that made her career. Yeah, it definitely did. No, I think Pulp Fiction made her career. Yeah, Pulp Fiction was really giant putting, her career. And then Kill Bill like, like sealed her, it. Yeah, to stardom. But this woman's a bad you sure? You sure that the movie My Superhero Girlfriend wouldn't, didn't put her on the map? Oh, God, that was a real thing. What yeah, about Hancock? I forgot. Yeah, she was in that. What about he sucked. Yeesh. Yeah, were they good. having sex? And, like the bed was like all weird and shit, yeah, something and like that. I, bed. I yeah. honestly vaguely remember it because I just remember this movie was it was just bad. It's like it, was that, like it was like taking like the bad parts of superhero movies and the bad parts of romantic comedies and just putting it into one piece of shit. Mm-hmm. That's pretty much yeah. what it was. Yeah. What's Dang. that movie? I totally forgot the name of it. I forgot it because I thought of Fifty First Dates for some reason. We were going to talk about horrible romantic comedies. I love that movie, actually. I never finished it. Really? I always remember, I like, watched it a long time ago when it first came out on DVD. Yeah, I don't think I finished it. I either. never finished it. That's a good movie. I love Love yeah. Song from 311, that cover, but yeah. never finished the movie. It's good. It's good. I Is like, it? I just like the concept. Yeah, I liked it. I mean, personally. Mm-hmm. Maybe you might. I mean, it might not be maybe the greatest movie, but I enjoyed it. Would you bury more in fucking Adam Sandler? How good on screen they really are they had like other stuff too i just i just like the concept in general it just was definitely like a good i don't know you you don't see a lot of uh, i I, I, amnesia everything you make (laughs) it don't make it too long i find my dong amnesia forgot Um, war parked my car isn't that what she what's the name of this song she had it was not that she had like she got in a car accident, and then she had like she had brain damage where it affected her short term memory. So mm-hmm. oh, she couldn't okay. remember stuff that had happened. That like, she remembered her life, like but that. she literally would forget everything the day after, and then she would live basically the same day over and over again. Yeah. And so he was like trying to change her life because he was like she shouldn't have to live the same shit every over every day. And then eventually he like stuck out in her mind. And he's like, you know what? Yet. I didn't come in your mouth yesterday. She's like, you know what? You're right. I forgot. <laughs> he's like. Ding to the camera. <laughs> yeah. gets, yeah, that's what happened. He gets to keep doing it every day. He's like, I they, love brain damage. And they love <laughs> and they live happily ever after. You know who wishes they have amnesia? Yeah. All the fans of Marvel versus Capcom and Infinite. Oh. Oh yeah, yeah the evil lineup. Evil twenty eighteen lineup came out recently. Oh yeah. And Dragon Ball Fighters has taken the place of Marvel versus Capcom. Oh yeah. Which has been an Evo since the beginning, like a decade ago. Almost. Oh. So, uh, we've played Dragon Ball Fighters. That's what fun. do you guys think of it? I love that game. It's fun. The game's it's fun. fun as fuck, dude. It's smexy. It's, it's, and it's easy. It's still, I'm still learning a bunch of shit mm-hmm. with that game, but it's easy to learn. Like, it's a lot easier to learn what before. Like, because I tried to pick up Street Fighter Five for a little while, and, and like, since playing Ryu on Smash, I was like, okay, maybe this won't be as bad. Yeah. She was hard, man. Even playing yeah. Ryu was really difficult. And, like, I tried playing Akuma, and that was, shit was hard. And, like, there's just so many things I had to learn and different sort of types of button inputs that I was just not used to. Dragon Ball, like, really sort of 
streamlines it. It's very much like, okay, every character is like quarter circle back mm-hmm. moves, quarter mm-hmm. circle forward moves. And that's pretty much it. Like, that's pretty much as much as it goes. And everybody else kind of has the same. Like, every, there's a bunch of universal combos. There's auto combos where for people who are not familiar with fighting games, it's basically you just mash a button and then you get a combo out of it. Um, I think it's good to learn. And it's fucking Dragon Ball Z, which is by far awesome. my favorite, my, like my top three favorite shows of all time, if not my favorite show ever. Yeah. I fucking love Dragon Ball, and I'm so happy. Like, the, that's literally almost like 70% of the reason I'm playing this game, is it's Dragon Ball. Nostalgia. What do you think, Shmoyo? Fuck yeah. What? What do you think, Shmoyo? Shmoyo. Shmoyo. Um, like your Shmoyo, like your boy. From, from the little bit that I played, I really enjoy it. I mean, I love just the 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 animation, and I think that's like the biggest mm-hmm. drive for me. Just the sequences back and forth, and like even just like the titles. Just, I I got captured by the game right at the beginning of the game, where you just have your little like meeble. I don't know what they're yeah, called. a little like avatar thing. Yeah, avatar yeah, yeah. Just walking around. Like I was like, oh, this looks so cool. Yeah, really we cool. tried the beta. What so, happened with that? Oh, that shit. Yeah. But hey, luckily, you like you guys both did well in the beta. You guys played. You guys both won your matches. It yeah. also barely worked. That's yeah. true. That was a fun yeah. part. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Online systems still having issues. Mm-hmm. Which, oh, really? Yeah, it's still it's still pretty bad. So they should it's definitely fix that. Just... Uh, it's not. It's obviously for me. I don't really give a shit because I've been in training mode, arcade or story mode, pretty much the entire time because I'm not good. So I'm mm-hmm. trying to get good. Mm-hmm. It's working yeah. out for me. How do you like it? Toki, because you're you're a Marvel fan. I think this is the worst game to ever come out of all time. This is get out of my house. Uh, a negative transgression. Get out of my past house. transgression. Get to transgress upon this transgression. Get it's a really house. fun looking game. Hard to learn because it's a straight up competitive fighting game compared yeah. to Smash Four, where we've been playing oh, yeah, for the last three years. It's still hard to learn. I think it's easier to learn than other fighting games. I mm-hmm. guess is what I should have I should have said. And then it's easier to learn. It's also like Colin said, Dragon Ball. So there's pretty much zero reasons for people to like give it shit. Especially yeah. if like if you if you don't like it as mechanical wise, then at least watch it. Watch what happens this summer, this year alone for it competitively. It's gonna be nuts. Because the more support and eyes are put on it, the better chance we have of a uh, Dragon Ball Fighters too. Oh, it'll come out. If, if then, not, it, unless they make- and then they'll get support from Bandai Namco to. Give more money to prize pools and stuff, and keep the competitive scene afloat. Unless, unless the DLC is like that expansive over the next year and two, mm-hmm. where they won't even need to do that. Yeah. I, if I if I were them, I don't know, man. If I were going to make a fighting game, I would try to make it last for like five, six, maybe even at most ten years if I could. Oh God, I really would, because it's like because. It, it re- I, I feel like it's extremely difficult to make a fighting game like yeah. that and make sure you get all the combos right and the characters feel right and that you get the move sets looking great and that the ca- the game looks good and that the buttons work and there's no glitches and there's like all these little things because like it's fun it's fun to play well mm-hmm. so like when Street Fighter Five came out people were like this game sucks like straight up people were like this game sucks because A was Street empty one no Five. Street Fighter Five um, Street Fighter it was people thought it was empty like it was, and it was empty there was like no there was pretty much no story mode you pretty much when you started you could only go to training mode and play online matches it was pretty much it was very boring um, but then people were saying like oh the confirms are too easy and the animations look horrible and and it was like all this like nitpicking stuff at least mm-hmm. to me and so it's like like Capcom's been doing that shit forever man and like they they do one thing slightly wrong and they get the community on their asses. Hope, thank, thankfully they made up for it it's just like I would love to make a game where I could bide my time for the next one and, and really make sure okay here I get to good, get a good perspective on like what this game has done Power Stone do it like what Power Stone no the game's dead you uh, never seen Power Stone no the no, game's dead I love Power Stone Ma- Marvel vs. Capcom is dead it's the perfect Wait, what fighting is- game Power Stone yeah I thought Power Stone I thought that was Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite thing it's a Power Stone the power the Infinity Gauntlet but Power Stone and the Sega Dreamcast. It's not perfect by any means, but I would give it a 10 out of 10. That I'll is, tell you what, I'll tell you it's what. It's a fighting game? Yeah. <laughs> oh. It's a uh, twitch.tv slash TK Breezy's sub icon. Are you sure that's a fighting well, game? Well, it used to be. This doesn't look like a fighting game, dude. That's a fighting game. There's Then why are they in front of... Why is there ammo and they're in front of a treasure chest? Because Smash has items also, right? Yeah, but they're in front of a treasure chest like they just found something. Uh Uh-huh. That's where the items are in. What the fuck? So Power Stone, imagine, it's like, uh, god damn, I don't even explain it. You're in a room. It's kind of like Tekken. Now it's 3D. You're in a room. 
And you can use like you interact with like poles and shit to hit your enemy with. Yeah. Chests have like guns you can shoot people with, like Smash. Or you can use items and all that stuff, mm. and it's really cool. If you get the stones, you go into like, ultimate mode, and everyone has their ultimate mode. And Yang he turns into some cool like Super Saiyan looking motherfucker, and like the main character turns into like some real Captain Planet motherfucker, and like it goes real fast, and it's like cool health bars, and like it goes four player. I usually like go to my friend's house for sleepovers all the time and play it. I think this is PlayStation All Stars, dude. Oh shit. 1998? This is PlayStation All-Stars. No, I'm saying in terms of, like, the health bars. That's some PlayStation All-Star shit. I don't know what this is. This looks like minigame mode. This is, this is Power Stone, dude. Yeah, but that's not, like, one-on-one. Uh, okay, well, so this is... Here, let me show you the, the image I have for the one-on-one part. It, it should it, be, it like... It's fucking weird. Diamonds on each character's side for their health bars, and... It was really cool. Health bars? Yeah, should be. That is... You're right here. This is what I'm saying. Look, they're in front of a tra- I was like, are you sure? Yeah, <laughs> that's Power Stone. Oh, that is interesting. It's looking. just like mm. a weird freeze frame of it. Right now, we're looking at Ayami and Jonker sitting in front Jonker. of a chest. He's the pilot of the group. So, are they all original characters, or are any of these guys from like different anime? Nope, or, like... all original characters. Oh, okay, Gunrock, Kraken, Jablev, and Sydney. <laughs> I think that's her <laughs> more name. Than, I think more than that. <laughs> Sidma. There's a lot of this. Seems like there's a lot of characters. Mm-hmm. It's really cool. Oh, there's a, there was a third one, a second and third one. Yeah, there's a third one? Yeah, apparently. Look. What? I would have all so played it. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. There was well, a fan made. It could be. Fan of May. Scratch Jams presents. Is it? Yeah, I think it's. Yeah, it looks like it's fan made. You can oh, use that gun to shoot cool. bullets. Wait, speaking of guns. I would main this guy. Oh, that fucking Pete. Uh, <laughs> what? Speaking of guns, <laughs> did, you, did you guys Arthur see the Deadpool trailer? What? I did. I watched this Did you guys see morning. the Deadpool trailer? No, I haven't seen it yet. It's Introducing teaser. Cable. I want to see the Venom trailer because I heard it sucks. Oh, I haven't seen the Venom trailer. It's a teaser trailer. I heard it sucks. It's a teaser trailer. Well, Venom's literally not in it. Yeah, it's yeah. That's why it sucks. Yeah. It's, it's only like, like 20 seconds? It's teasered. Yeah, I think... No, I saw it was like a minute 30. Minute 30? Okay. Well, that sounds like... Yeah. That's what I saw, at least on Twitter. I could be wrong. Hold on, let me see. Let me look. Let's see. Look you at can the see like you can see like the black shit inside like a cage inside like a little glass cage or something. Uh-huh. That's about it. Like you know, Is it, it's Tom. I almost said Tom Brady. Tom, Tom Hardy, right? Tom Hardy. Okay. Tom Hardy. That should be good. Yeah, it's better good. than Pete Wentz, whatever the fuck his name is. <laughs> the guy from that '70s show that was Venom. Oh, he wanted to be Venom. Like, no, he was Venom in Spider-Man Three. Oh, fucking yeah! yeah I forget his name. I can't remember his That's name either. Grace. Yeah, yeah, go yeah. for grace. Yeah, toe for grace. And go for grace. Toe for, go for grace. Just go toe for it. Toe for grace. And we Come are on. witnessing Come on. the trailer for Venom. If it fucking loves. No, this is the trailer for Deadpool 2. I wanted the guy from Don't Breathe, but Josh Brolin works. Yeah. I loved the first one. I still have to watch the first oh, one. Oh, the first one's so good. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Where movies are <laughs> from, boys? The Dirty Dancing? No, no, God, what is the one? It's the fucking one. I've seen the baby. damn movie. Oh, what the fuck? What's it's the movie? fucking one. You say you never put baby in the corner. Jennifer, Jennifer you're about to her... yell out. You never put... yell it out. You're like, go ahead. <laughs> Jennifer, you never put Jennifer, baby in the corner. <laughs> Jennifer, what's her face was in it? Carter. No. Lopez. No. Charter. No. Of you, it? No. Ibanez. No. Tatum. No. Method? I hate you guys. Man. Acting. <laughs> man. <laughs> Method man. And then what else came out this week? Uh, the solo trailer came out this week, too. All fucking. With Charles our Gambino. guy, Donald Glover. That's probably the probably, that's probably the main reason I'm going to go see that movie. I think that's the reason There's, everyone wants to see yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. I was like, fuck this guy's like solo. Fucking Gambino shots Glover's in this shit. Yeah. yeah. No, they're, and they're seen at the, at like the trailer. Like, what was that whole thing where he kind of. It was like the whole funny kind of bit at the end where he was just like, like the ship shook and he was just like, oh, I thought we weren't going to make it or something like that. And mm-hmm. you're like, Rrr. I was like, oh, fuck, man. I don't know about this movie. It could be, it could, <laughs> <laughs> it could be good. I, I, I don't, it, but I, I don't know, man. I'm getting sick of Star Wars. I really am. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm already over it, dude. I, I, I would be more than happy if like we could wait another five years for another Star Wars movie. Tell that to Disney. Well, it should be over. They're going to milk that shit. Because the trilogy's done next year, right? No, the year yeah, after Yeah, but this. then Ryan Johnson's making his own two movies, and then mm-hmm. they're doing the Obi-Wan movie, and then they're doing a TV series, and then the Game of Thrones creators are also doing movies or a series. Game of Thrones I'm fucking Star Wars? sick of it. Yeah. I don't care. I don't care who makes it anymore. I'm I just want it, it to end. I want, I want the Ewan McGregor. 
If he's coming back for the Obi Wan movie, I'm yeah. in. Yeah, I'm okay. Have with you seen that, that dude well. smile? Fuck you. Ewan McGregor? <laughs> fuck, dude. What, Ewan that McGregor? That shit's filthy good. <laughs> Wait, Why would oh. you not want him back? If, yeah, he, if he's, he's playing Obi, guy. I'm down. Oh, yeah, Every, he's, everything he's, else, because luckily it's not like Netflix, so like I'm, I'm not going to like see him like, oh, maybe I should watch it. Yeah, yeah. luckily like we have a choice. Yeah, he's he's yeah, definitely the best. He's definitely the best Obi Wan. But uh, besides the original one, of course, Rogue One definitely was a that was a that's a rough one. Go back see. Let's give it. Let's 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 see. As long as it doesn't all come out at, I don't know. I'm just still confused by it because I was like, um, I'm a kind of Star Wars fan, not really, because my knowledge of Star Wars once again comes from Robot Chicken, and uh, so I was like, I'm just still. This is like kind of out of nowhere that all this is coming out. Like it's being announced quickly. Yeah. But hopefully the turnaround isn't as fast. That's all spaced out. Ha ha. Get it. I got it. Spaced out. Mm -mm. I'm some kind of Kakidian. I'm kind of just, I just want something different. I'm tired Mm -hmm. of like the same old formula. I want something new and different. I guess that's why I'm like a big fan of Quentin Tarantino and like. Star uh, Trek. Dennis Villanueva, right? or like all that stuff. Huh? He's doing Star Trek, right? Yeah, yeah something like that. Well, oh, yeah. That's, yeah, I forgot mm-hmm. about that. Yeah. yeah I just I like, well, in terms of like writing and like directing and like just like tentpole movies, I just want something different, not the same old formula. I'm well, tired of a- fucking adaptations of Maze Runner. I'm tired of fucking. <laughs> like, hey, that's the last the one. Fuck? That's the last one. Shit. We like, made it. It's like four Star years. Wars. Wait, what? Yeah, Maze, Maze Runner's Runner. a trilogy. <laughs> I don't know what the hell that is. Uh, it's a fucking another. The book. first movie looked fine. Yeah, the first movie looked it was good. good. Until it was I kind found of out. I'm like, oh whoa. Yeah, like the second movie kind of just like, what the fuck is this? I never seen the second one. I never uh, seen the first one either. Because uh, the first one was like, oh, oh, little orphan Annie. Uh, we're gonna train you so you grow strong in this maze. Julius Caesar. Or I just some wanted. Shit? I wanted to watch it just because I wanted to know what happened next because mm-hmm. they left a, such an amazing cliffhanger, and I'm like, this is disappointing. I watched it just. To make myself oh, yeah. feel good, I watched. Yeah, I wanted to watch the first one because I was like, "Oh, there's that boy that's in Teen Wolf. It's oh, time yeah. for it's good. Let's see if he can make the leap uh-huh. <laughs> to the big screen." This shit is always weird to me. So, Rotten Tomatoes, the newest one, The Death Cure, yep. got a forty three percent on on Rotten Tomatoes by critics, mm-hmm. but seventy one percent of the audience liked it. Yeah, it does a big following. It's a cult class cult movie. Oh, so, so all the I niggas just, that read the books too. I just yeah, oh, it's, that's probably yeah, it. Yeah. Um. Well, so how, how do you guys? So here's here's a good question about there's there's a lot of franchises that I think Star Wars actually kind of falls into this too, um, that people are going to like it more so because of what the name holds rather than what it actually is. Like Nintendo sort of has that thing. Like so, the Colin class. Moriarty <clears throat> basically commented and said like Breath of the Wild is a great game, but he's like if this wasn't Nintendo, this doesn't get a ten, and. I'm not sure I disagree with him that much. So yeah. I'm wondering if it's like the same thing for Star Wars. Like the more I think about the newest Star Wars, like The Last Jedi, the more that movie, I was like, oh man, I thought it was really good. And the more I thought about it, the more I'm like, eh, it's okay. Mm-hmm, like yeah. I didn't think it was anything that special. I think it did some really cool things. And I didn't think, I didn't think anything took away from it. But I definitely think like, yeah, at least at the start, I wanted to like it a lot because it was Star Wars. I, mm-hmm. could, I could never watch that movie again and I'd be okay. Yeah, same, same thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I agree with you. So the opposite of the critically acclaimed movie, The Room. <laughs> <laughs> we talking about Tommy Wise out for probably like almost six oh, months man. now or some it's, shit. Star Wars, yeah, Mark. Uh, yeah, oh, Han. Man. Hi, Han. Oh, hi, Han. Oh, hi. Um, I think that's <laughs> true. Hope. Name carries a lot of weight. Imagine if Tom Cruise. No, it already happened. Fucking Jack Reacher. You see any more Jack Reacher movies? And I think another one's supposed to come out, oh. but. And then the same kid that's in Maze Runner, he was in a movie, I forgot, recently, that's pretty much like uh, Mission Impossible. Yeah. with um, It's like with, American Assassin or something yeah, like with, that. Uh, yeah. The Batman. Oh, what's his name? I'm blanking on Tom Watson. Today. So, like, it's, um, it's the name carries a lot of weight. Or as rappers say, clout. <laughs> mm. Yeah. <laughs> Such a stupid term. Birdman. I like clout. It was in Birdman. Uh, um, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, well, he's in oh it too. Oh my gosh, it's Bird like Man. American like assassin or some mm-hmm. shit. It looks really fucking cool. Birdman. I still have to see Birdman. You've seen Birdman, Colin? Man. I think everyone told me about it. I yeah, and it starts out. Nope. It's like you, all really? Yeah. I can say oh, I is that it. my life is pretty plain. And then it's, it's to him swooping down on the Michael city, Keaton? right? My own Keaton. Michael, Michael Keaton. Keaton. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's yeah. in this I think movie. I, I don't. If really? I did, I don't think I saw this. Oh, that's really good. It's an iconic superhero. 
Very own Broadway play. It sounds interesting. Yeah, it looks like it's it looks like it's good. Oh, Edward Norton's in it too. Zach Galifianakis, Emma Stone. Holy yeah. shit, a lot of good people in this. I think he Hong won award for it. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I not only Watts about. is in it too. No, I don't I don't if I did see this, I do not remember it at all. I don't mm-hmm. think I think you must be thinking some some other Jewish guy. Oh yeah. Some other Jew. Yeah, you know. The other Jewish Jew. guy. Ah. You know, I've been watching to sleep lately. <laughs> Pornography. Sleep? What? Lee? What? Uh Friends compilation. Oh my <laughs> lord. Oh. <laughs> you like that show? Oh. No. Oh, okay. I was like, I, I can't stand that piece of shit. Uh, you don't I like can, Friends? Oh, can, no. God, I can, no. I can, I can tolerate it. No, it isn't. It's funny. It's no, funny. I, can I never disagree, watch a full, but... I can watch a full episode, but I don't think I can watch like two or three in a row. I suppose like when you wake up in the middle of the night when I was still watching cable and George Lopez show would be on for some fucking reason at 5 a.m. <laughs> I can watch funny. that. I can watch that back to back. That's funny. Your friends. It's like all these white people problems. My God. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it was. But then at the same time, I was still fighting some of the shit that would happen. And then on the right side, I noticed on that recommended section on YouTube, it had a. Uh, Big Bang Theory, funniest compilations. Ah, that's, yeah, that's, I avoided that like a skin good. disease. Yeah. I was yeah. I was tempted. I was like, I want to click on that. Maybe you can like search that right now. Yes, Colin. No, it's horrible. Best of Big Bang Theory. Uh, Let's see what people consider I, the funniest. I watched about three episodes of that one time, and I mm-hmm. did not laugh once. <laughs> I shit you not. I, I was like, th- wow, people love this show. <laughs> they love that shit. I watched a couple of episodes. What's, I liked it. It just seemed like the most repetitive shit. Bazinga. Yeah. I watched not, the pilot not, of it. That's not funny. Like in 2007, 2006. Oh, look, it's the guy from Shape of Water. <laughs> Is it? No. Oh, okay. It just looks a lot like him. The, the, the monster? Scientist? No, the scientist. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> it sort of looks like him. Is that the monster from Shape of Water? Yeah, that's him. Yeah, it's Doug Jones, dude. <laughs> Ugly motherfucker. What? <laughs> what? Is he laughing? Yeah. I just sound like a bird. Acoustics? <laughs> yeah. I can be a comedy writer. <laughs> what, what did he start off with? What I don't say? know. I don't know. This is a 52 minute video though. We're in the first yeah, three gonna, seconds. We're gonna watch. We're gonna watch a little bit. This is such a parents oh, comedy. Hold on, wait, wait. I gotta hear what oh, he said. God. We gotta hear the setup of the joke, guys. Oh fuck me! I hate everything. But these are tropes. This is a these are the best positive. moments of all seasons. Yeah, I know that was the first season. But they- <laughs> oh yeah, they're putting on their feet. But that's a, that's all the painful part to accept. In thirty years, if we have kids and all that shit, they're gonna walk downstairs and see us watching shit like this. I'm not watching because these are TV. This, this is yeah, a C- speak for yourself. This is a CBS show. <laughs> These are the tropes that you have to force into your fucking show. This is why I don't watch these are these all, shows. All the tropes from the 1920s will never leave CBS shows. This is How I Met Your Mother because that show is fucking awesome. Hey, I love Until that show. season five. Four. That's a good show. But this is it. The Big Bang Theory and like, oh, what else? Uh, practical, impractical jokers and shit like that. I actually think that shit's hilarious. That, that yeah. with the, the guy that looks like Rosie O'Donnell? What? What guy looks like Rosie O'Donnell? <laughs> Oh, no. Yeah, you're it talking about the rea- you're talking it about the rea- like the the show where it's like all those friends together, and then they just do random shit. Yeah, I fucking hate that show. Oh, I love that show. That anything, on true, anything on oh, True no. TV except the World's Dumbest, I feel it should burn in hell. <laughs> but <laughs> if you haven't seen that one where he's fucking, he's at a like a book reading thing. I hate all of it. You don't okay. I hate well, all, all of it. Let me explain it. I'm like on. that's like straight up hired Craigslist actors come over here. We're gonna do this thing. And well, let's shoot it. It was I that, swear this that was, bald, beady eyed fuck. This yeah. was not. It was not <laughs> Craigslist actor. That guy does freak me out. He looks like he's gonna stab somebody hate, in one episode. I, fucking, I like that show. Like uh, in the beginning, I was like, every year after year after year that went by, I was like, I know how this is shot. I wow, I don't like any of these jokes. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I, <laughs> they, they did a punishment one time where it was I, I don't know why the guy fucking lost. I think I saw this on Reddit or whatever, but mm-hmm. he had to read 
he was supposed to read his own book. Basically, like a lot of people had written their own books or whatever. They're supposed to read them in front of people, and they were just you're supposed to obviously be quiet because there's reading. And then like um, his cell phone kept ringing, but it was just like some sort of self aware ringtone, or just your cell phone's ringing and your cell phone. It was something really stupid, and I fucking I don't know the shit. Like if you think you're about the being in the situation, mm-hmm. it was fucking hilarious. And then yeah. he had to. He had to read about being quiet and being respectful. And it was, I don't know. I can't, I'm obviously not explaining it very well, but I thought it was fucking hilarious. Yeah, being a jokester. No, I'm not. Tell a joke, joke man. Uh, uh, what, uh, why did chicken cross the road? Get the other side. You know what the other side means? means you died. Chicken cross the other road to die. You're anti joke. I'm not, it's not, no, I'm not even kidding. That's what that means. Yeah, you're all about that's that. what that joke's about. That's like oh, a joke version of anti disestablishment, anti disestablishment, anti disposition establishment. Whatever that word means. That's, that's a joke. Uh, yeah. <laughs> anti, what is it? Anti disestablishmentarianism. Anti disobesitism. Straight. What time mark are we at? Uh,. I think we're actually in the 40s. 40s? We'll go to 40s last. Oh, we're at the... Well, we're at the 47, so... Oh, God. Colin, where can they find you? <laughs> you can find me on Twitter at TheFerg91. You can find me on Twitch.tv slash TheFerg. And um, that's it. Call Eagler, where can they find you playing Dark Souls? Find me, Dark Soul, in on Bad Input's channel on YouTube. Check it out. And you can find me on Twitter, Yole underscore Valentine. Someone wanted you to do an impression of my voice. Uh, uh, I, I, uh, my Twitter is at Tokalurk15. <laughs> I know. Because <laughs> you have a deeper voice. I, 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 I can't do I, it. I, I tried. You asked. Oh, I'm on twitch.tv slash bad inputs. <laughs> He's not like Shaq. Cuxicles. <laughs> I don't talk like that. I know right. you don't. I can't do an impression of you. All right, later, Cuxicles. <laughs> <laughs>